Okay, this is a song for nerds. Enjoy. did that song that you were listening to. Well, I was asked to uh, perform a song for the Bushwick Book Hub of Seattle, inspired by this book, Watchmen, by Alan Moore and Dave Gibbons. And uh, I couldn't help but think of all of the times after the movie came out where people were just uh, enraged by the way they changed things. And so I wanted to talk about that rage. And conveniently, a friend of mine, Rene de la Prade, had a song called Nerd Love, which, with the help of my friend Billy, uh, I converted to uh, discussing something a little bit more uh, comic book oriented and kind of more aggro. Now, the important part of this uh, little vlog here is defending what would seem indefensible. I do believe that the ending of Watchmen was better than the book. I'm just going to let that sink in for a second here. And also, take the opportunity to uh, officially state spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Alright? Okay. So, I'm going to describe two scenarios to you right now. And you tell me... Which one sounds like it's a part of a deep philosophical discussion on the nature of heroism? And which one sounds like it comes from the nightmare of a B-movie sci-fi director? Okay? Here we go. Scenario 1. An otherwise good hero is framed for a catastrophic and inhumane act, and must shoulder the burden of guilt in order to preserve peace 
and the very living status of human beings. Scenario 2. Giant Psychic Octopus Corpse. Let me say that again. Giant Psychic Octopus Corpse. Let's be honest, that sounds like a shitty metal band. And I've looked. That's not a shitty metal band, and I'm disappointed. So I am unafraid to say the ending of Watchmen is better in the movie than in the book. It is a belief that fire cannot melt out of me. I will die in it at the stake. And knowing nerd rage, you guys are probably organizing that already. So, clock is ticking. I'll see you guys later.